Welcome, and thank you for your interest in the JA90-350 Jackhammer Lift Assist, brought to you by Integrated Tool Solutions. The JA90-350 Jackhammer Lift Assist is specifically designed to assist operators with the lifting of a jackhammer. Actuating the JA90-350 with every cut allows the operator more control and ease of use while running the jackhammer. The ergonomically designed jackhammer lift assist reduces operator stress and fatigue, therefore drastically reducing the risk of jackhammer-related back injuries as well as improving job efficiency and productivity. The JA90-350 is being recognized for its safety benefits, ergonomic features, and increased productivity, both domestically and worldwide. The patent-pending JA90-350 Jackhammer Lift Assist is quickly revolutionizing the jackhammer industry. In this section, we'll discuss the features of the JA90-350. The aluminum-constructed body weighs only 9 pounds and conforms to 90% of the 4-bolt, 2-spring type jackhammers available at market. The one-time installation of the unit is simple and takes only minutes to complete. The JA90-350 is a pneumatic tool that shares the existing air supply with the jackhammer to which it is attached. With just 100 PSI, the device is capable of delivering approximately 350 pounds of lifting force. To activate the JA90-350, the jackhammer operator pulls upward on the ergonomically designed lever. The lever then extends the lifting rod, which brings the jackhammer out of the aperture it has created. The lifting rod extends nearly 15 inches from the bottom of the device, allowing for sufficient clearance of the jackhammer gad. Now, we will further demonstrate the JA90-350 in action. As shown in this demonstration, you can see how effortlessly the JA90-350 assists the operator as he lifts the jackhammer up and out of the ground. As this angle illustrates, the jackhammer operator easily activates the JA90-350 by pulling upward on the ergonomically designed lever. Now compare this example as the operator runs the jackhammer without the aid of the JA-9350. As you can see, he struggles to pull the jackhammer out of the ground, putting immense strain on his back and shoulders. Notice how comfortable the operator is while keeping a safe distance between himself and the jackhammer. Here you can also see that the operator can use the JA-9350 to reposition the jackhammer before breaking ground again thus demonstrating the speed and ease that the JA-9350 brings to the job. The jackhammer lift assist is beneficial to both the employee and employers as they not only help improve job site productivity, but can reduce work-related injury claims as well. With so many outstanding benefits, it's difficult to imagine why anyone would operate a jackhammer without the JA-9350. For additional information, please visit our website at integratedtoolsolutions.com or contact us at 951-929-4808. When operating the jackhammer, it's important to note, always keep the lift assist on the left-hand side between the operator and the jackhammer. A typical mistake made by people the first time they use the lift assist is hovering over the jackhammer. Although this is a common technique when using a jackhammer, it will limit the efficiency of the lift assist. Instead, Keep the jackhammer at a safe distance from the body by extending your arms to a comfortable length from the body. Remember, you no longer have to pull the bit out of the ground. Let the lift assist do the work for you. Keep in mind, the lift assist is designed to assist with the lifting of the jackhammer while operating. As a standard procedure, always avoid burying the jackhammer bit. Upon return to the surface, use the lifting rod to pull the bit out of the ground, just enough to clear the debris. If you extend the lifting rod too far, the jackhammer will walk around on the surface. When cutting a perimeter line, we recommend working from right to left. This keeps the distance to the work surface shorter and provides a better view of the lift assist foot. Once the perimeter cut has been made, you're ready to begin breaking up the surface. When operating the jackhammer, lean the hammer in the direction of the next cut, moving right to left, then left to right. Working backwards in a zigzag formation provides a safe and solid surface for the lift assist foot and the operator to work on. In the next section, we'll discuss the proper procedures for installing the JA-90-350 onto a jackhammer. To ensure the safety and efficiency of the lift assist, it's important to follow these procedures step by step to make certain installation of the JA-90-350 is done to the specifications issued by Integrated Tool Solutions. 
Before installing the JA9350, make sure to lay the jackhammer on a flat surface with the trigger and airline hose to the right-hand side of the GAD. Remove the left upper bolt, washer, and nut and set aside. Measure the length of the spring on the lower end of the jackhammer. Be sure to write down the exact length for future reference. Remove the spring nut and keeper washer from the spring bolt and set aside. Attach the lift assist to the jackhammer by inserting the threaded stud on the JA9350 into the empty upper bolt hole on the jackhammer. Reinstall the left upper bolt, washer, and nut onto the threaded stud at the top of the JA9350. Before tightening the nut on the threaded stud, check to make sure the trigger is in position so that it allows for full throttle when actuating the lift assist. Make sure to tighten the nut to 65 foot-pounds of torque, unless factory specifications require more than 65 foot-pounds. Slide the JA9350 spring arm bracket onto the end of the spring bolt and reattach the spring bolt keeper washer and nut removed previously. Make certain the spring is compressed to the length measured earlier. If the measurement is off, make the proper adjustment and measure again. Now that you've attached the JA9350 to the jackhammer, the next step is attaching the air supply. First, remove the airline connector from the jackhammer air supply nipple. Apply pipe thread sealant to the jackhammer air supply nipple threads. Be sure to avoid getting sealant inside the pipe and coupling. Attach the coupling to the jackhammer air supply nipple with the 90 degree fitting facing towards the jackhammer. Apply pipe thread sealant to each end of the supplied connector. Reattach the supply airline nipple and tighten. Apply pipe thread sealant on the threads of the short air supply hose and attach it to the JA9350. Make sure this connection is tight. Again, avoid getting sealant inside the air supply hose. Attach the connector of the short air supply hose to the 90 degree air supply fitting on the airline supply coupling and tighten. Finally, apply a small amount of tool oil inside the airline connector. If you have any further questions on the installation of the JA9350, please feel free to contact Integrated Tool Solutions at 951-929-4808.